Okay, you guys, um, I've got a bag, a mystery bag of jewelry to open that I got on Shop Goodwill. So let's turn you guys around and let's crack this open. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? You're staring at a big old box. <laughs> so here's what we're doing. I am gonna open this box and I should have two jewelry bags in here. One that weighs, let me look, 6.2 pounds and one that weighs 7.2 pounds. We're only gonna open one of them. I'll save the other one for another video. Um, so on some Shop Goodwill lots, if you get something from a location there, you have seven days to pay for it. I think seven. Um, for most of them. There might, I don't know if there's some that you don't have that long. But you have, a, for this particular location, I had seven days to pay for it. So what I did was, oh gosh, they gave me the good bubbles. Um, I looked around to see if there was anything else jewelry related so that um, I could combine my shipping. So notice we've got one bag. I'm, I have no idea what you guys are seeing. I'm flying blind here. Um, so we got one bag and let's pull out the other bag. Oh gosh, this one's heavy. Right. And then we'll get the box out of the way. Oh, oh, never mind. We're not gonna do this bag because the whole thing just ripped open. So we're gonna move this whole box. I don't know which bag we're doing. <laughs> that was one way to find out. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Let's get you guys situated and we will look and see what we got. All right, I think, I think I'm set. Um, let's look, let's look through the bag. That looks pretty. Looks like a whole bangle set right there that's connected. Pretty bracelet here. So let's look and see what we've got. Oh, I see a frog ring. That might be fun. So this is supposed to be costume. You know, you never know what's in them. That's part of the fun. Which one is this one? This is 6.2 pounds. 7.2 pound bag broke in the box. So we're gonna leave that there for another time. All right. I got my three buckets set up. I have, ooh, I have um, craft, I have wearable but lot where I can like make a lot. So we got craft, wearable but lot, and I have this box right here for yeses. All right. So let's take a look. We'll just pull stuff off that's easy to see. All right. So it looks like we have just a cuff bracelet. I was looking to see if I saw any mark on it, but I don't. I'm gonna put it in wearable but lot, but these are my favorite bracelets, so I might end up keeping it. Who knows? Okay. Oh, this is pretty. It's very sweet. Let's see what it says. A mother who holds her children's hands for a while. A mother, no. A mother holds her children's hands for a while, their hearts forever. And I guess it's supposed to twist like that. You see how it goes into that weirdness? Um, and then you've got this little charm. Let's see. I'm hoping you guys can see okay. This little charm that looks like a mother and a child. And maybe some rhinestones in it. I might be showing it to you wrong. Yeah. So that's pretty. Very, very pretty. And it says the same thing on the inside. Don't see a maker's mark. But yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to put that in wearable but lot. And um, yeah, I just, I want to hit the magnet with it though. Where's my magnet? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I took it in the other room. Oh man, I don't have my magnet. Okay, well, I'll do some testing later and let you guys know what I find. Okay, so that'll go in wearable but lot. I'm pulling out all the bracelets. <laughs> We've got some really pretty bangles with a tag on them. And let's see, let me pull y'all out and then back in. Look at the abalone inlay. 
Aren't those pretty? Um, and it, you know what? They might just be like a tourist shops piece or something. East Pacific Fashion Accessories. There's an email and a cell phone number if you want to call them. Um, pause. Call. Uh, but anyway, these are pretty. These are very pretty. I'm going to put them in wearable but live. All right, earrings for now. I will just, look, I put it all up in the screen. I'm going to set them to the side and we'll, you know, figure out what to do with them. These look like nose rings. Gross. <laughs> so they, they look like nose rings. They probably go in the trash. That's a cool ring. Y'all see that? That's an interesting ring. No mark on it. Mm, might be like a five, five and a half. Maybe a six. It's a little loose here, but it, it doesn't quite go down there. All right, so that's a neat ring. Um, I don't know what I want to do with that. So, um, it's got a lot of copper coming through. I'll put it in craft. I have a big pair of earrings like this. Um, I'm going to put them over because, like I said, earrings I'm just going to toss over there for now. And we'll just pit, poke through all of this. Oh, look. It says Yara. Is that a name? That's a unique name, if so, and a little dolphin on it. Um, and it says Leather Treaty. Leather Treaty. I wonder if that's the um, brand. Okay. I'm... If Yara is somebody's name, this is going to be a tough sell. So that's going into craft. Let's look at this. Let's look at this ring. Look at this guy. This cool frog. And he's got um, some stones right here. And lots of detail. He's cool. Stretch band. I don't see any marks. I wasn't expecting to. Let's see. Check him out. I love this. I have a turtle. I might as well have a frog too, right? So this may belong to Boyd, to Jen. Um, this might be mine. I really want to get to that thing. Um, okay. Ooh, these feel neat. Okay. Wow, why do these feel so good? I don't know what those are made of. They're very porous. They've got tons of holes in them. And they're white. And they feel gritty-like. But this is definitely probably a vintage piece with the barrel clasp. It's short, that's for sure. That's interesting. I've got a little bit of checking out research to do for what in the world this is don't know so I'm gonna put it in the yes and that way I'll know to research it and then decide later all right we just have a seed bead kind of thing here um it's lots of brown seed beads just a little kind of necklace something like this if I have some type of fashion pendant laying around I would slide it on here and then, you know, put it in wearable but lot. So it's going in there now. And, um, you know, I'll dig around, see what I got. All right, we've got a stretch here. Ew, it's lost a lot of its stretch. But we have some really cool glass beads. Some bicones and these guys. And these are really cool. So we're going to put that in craft. That'll be great for craft. Got a little fashion bracelet here. I'll flip you over. Adjustable where there or there. Toggle clasp and this beautiful like teal green. That's really pretty. Let's flip it over. I do not see a maker's mark. The the toggles, the, the rings show some wear. I don't think that's a huge deal breaker. It's not for me. So I'm gonna put it in wearable but live. All right, looks like we have some kind of maybe handmade bracelet. Um, 
with some cool charms on it, an angel, uh, probably some kind of saint. I'll have to look at that closer. Let's see. Oh gosh. So it's got some, it almost looks Celtic. A key. And then an evil eye. That's interesting. I am going to, I want to know more about these charms. So I'm going to put it in the yes so I can do a little digging on that front. Okay. We have, I've been wanting to dig this out. I look at this. Look at this piece of, I, I guess it's agate. It's an agate slice. Isn't that gorgeous? In this kind of almost prong set setting, but it has a whole back to it. And then a very long chain, no, um, no clasp, no maker's mark, but I love this. I absolutely love it. Um, I'll put it in wearable, but lot. I think this would be a good layering necklace and a great boho kind of look. Okay. We have Godmother, a Godmother bracelet with an infinity sign. So it's Alex and Ani style, but it is not Alex and Ani. No maker's mark. Um, I think I'm going to put it in craft just, just because I don't, I think that would be a tough sell. Okay. We got a little beaded on a cord bracelet with adjustable thing. And it's got the same, it's got the same, um, charm. So I'm going to put it in the yes and um, like I said, do some research and see what I can find out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Alright, what are you? What are you? This is weird. Um, is it supposed to be like this? All right, maybe it's supposed to go like this. So it does say fashion jewelry. And okay, we've got an infinity. Let's see if we can get y'all in. We've got an infinity toggle with a cross. So you slide the cross in to the infinity symbol and then you could wear it lariat style. And it even has a clasp on the back. This is a pure fashion piece. Um, it's not silver or anything, but it's, it's interesting. It's different. I'm going to put it in wearable, but live. Okay. It's, oh, oh no, no, that's not what I thought it was. This is weird. Um, do we have two things here? We might. <laughs> do we have me struggling? We might. Okay, bye. Oh, because that was a double thing. All right, this, I'll save the charm or something. Feels like pewter. Um, it's a baseball glove with a baseball in it. It could be softball. And that's pretty. I mean, that's cool. Beadball chain. I will, mmm. Maybe put it in craft. Somebody can use that charm. Oh, I should have grabbed this because that's what I pulled off of it. Oh, this is sweet. This is a little double strand bracelet. I see a tag on it. I'll have to look. I see like a little hang, hang tag. But let me get it up here for you guys. So it looks like I'll have to check and see if these are real pearls some little um, little flowers and some pink, I mean purple and green and blue stones on gold tone. And let's see what uh, this is feeling like Premier Designs. And yes, that's exactly what that is. That is Premier Designs. It's got the P and the D on it. Um, so I will put this in wearable, but lot. So if it's Premier Designs, these are not real. Okay. What do we got here? Interesting conglomeration. 
Okay. You guys, I got one more week left and then it's spring break. I am so excited. <laughs> We've got a necklace, like a tassel necklace. Let me spin you all out some. We've got a tassel necklace. These remind me of fishing lures. I'm sorry, but they really do. Um, chain and then more of those same things. It's a pure fashion piece. I will put it in wearable, but what? A little leather bracelet made in the USA. Oh, Yara. You know, she probably stacked this with the dolphins. Went into craft. <laughs> Yara, I have all your jewelry. Okay. Um, throwing some earrings over. What are you? Oh, this is neat. I like this. So it's a, how many strands we got here? One, two, golly, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five strands on a box clasp. Okay, a little tough to get out. And what does it say? Oh, y'all know me. It says Avon. That's a pretty Avon piece. So I, I'm going to put it in the yes. If I see that comps are, are kind of low, um, like below $10, then I will put it in wearable, but live. We got an adjustable macrame bracelet like that with a Hamza hand and an evil eye. I'm going to put it in wearable, but lot, um, cause this is a great stacking bracelet. I'm going to put this one with it and it's got all the rainbow beads. Um, probably, probably chakra. Okay. And is it still, yeah, it's still functional. It's just the slide is kind of a different color red from the beads, but that's okay. All right. So that one went in there. Oh, we got a pair of hoop earrings. Look at these. These are cool. They're heavy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but they're neat. So they were hooked together. I like these. Um, these are actually really my style. They're very much my style. So they might go over here with the frog for me. All right. Let's see. We got that's an earring. What in the world is happening here? That's an earring. What is this? Okay, hold on now. All right, so we've got a cross charm. We have the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I want to say that's what that metal is called. And is this, do we wear these rings? How does this work? I'm, that, that's bizarre. How would I wear this? Like this? I don't know what this does. I don't know. Okay, well, since I don't know how to wear this, it's not a bracelet. I'm going to put it in craft. Okay. What is this? What is this? This is a clip-on earring. Do you think we'll get his match? Look, and he's all blinged out. He's completely naked except for some jewelry. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Um, that's part of the fun of these boxes. You just never know. This is pretty. Um, it looks like it's got an empty jump ring. So maybe something's missing, but I could take that jump ring off. We would never know. Or leave it on and say, hey, add more charms. But it's got some really pretty charms on this bracelet. A little bit of wear right here. A little bit. Gold tone. We will put it in wearable, but lot. All right. And these guys, I would probably put that whole set together that I found just like this and um, sell them as a set. So that's kind of cool. We've got a little ring right here. It's a little triangle. Um, Didn't Madewell do a set like this? I think I see the M. I think I see. I think Madewell, do you see the M? right there. Madewell did a stacking set of rings like this. So I'm going to put this off to the side and see if we find more that stack with it. Okay, let's dig some more things out. 
I'm looking right now to see if we have any matched earrings, but we don't. I said that like it was a question. I'm not sure thing. Oh, we do have one set matched. Okay, we do have a match over here. These are beautiful. Um, God. Clear rhinestones. Some black faceted stones. They're gorgeous. Uh, don't see anything. The, the bags look terrible. Um, lots of lots of wear on the back, but that's the back of the earring. It's not not the end of the world. I'm gonna put them in wearable, but lot they would be great with you know a rhinestone kind of lot. Okay, let's grab some more out. Okay. Oh gosh, it won't stop. Okay, we got some more. Oh, isn't that pretty? Some some Christmas or holiday season earrings. They're like little puffy plastic stars and they're full of confetti. That's fun. On the card, I'll put it in wearable, but a lot I might put together, you know, a lot of Christmas style, holiday style jewelry. All right, I'm trying to pick the earrings out real fast. Get them out of the way. Earring. Oh, this was a set. We had a, we got a set right here. The ear wires on these are terrible. I would have to replace them. Um, These are acrylic. I'm just going to put, the, because the ear wires are in such bad shape, I'm going to put these dangles in craft. All right, let's see these. These are very disco. Um, trying to get it straight here. Well, you kind of get the idea. So they're, you know, two circles. They've got all these sparkly um, faceted beads on them. I, there's a lot of wear on this. I don't know. I'm going to put it in wearable, but lot, but we'll see what happens with that. Okay, and then we've got a basic pair of silver tone hoops that have way too much wear for my taste. Do you see all that? That's crazy wear. Um, so, yeah, I think these, these need to go to craft. Okay, I don't know what this big black piece is but we need to get it out of here it feels like a scarf I guess you would tie it around your neck maybe and it's got this tiger striped heart which is pretty cool and it's marked handmade Puebla Mexico that's kind of cool isn't it so here's what I'm going to do with that I'm going to put that in the yes pile and yeah, we'll check it more into that later on. All right, let's grab you. That's what I thought. Okay, oh, this is so dirty. This is so dirty, it's grossing me out. So, I don't know if, can you, oh, can you see all that? And the ribbon is dirty. The beads are heavy. They feel nice, but oh, this just feels terrible. So, um, and it's knotted in between but these feel awful. I'm putting that in craft. Okay. All right. We've got a little elephant necklace. And, oh, let's unhook the earring that's attached to him. That looks like the match to my cowboy hat. Isn't he pretty? And his trunk is up. That's always good. Um, lobster claw or lobster clasp. Don't have, I don't see a maker's mark. I'll look on his back. Don't see one. Great boho stacking piece. It's going in wearable, but lot. Okay. Look at this. This looks like a gunmetal earring. Okay. So I think these are like the rice paper beads. They're a decent size. Um, they're definitely a good size. They're not like the tiny ones that I usually get beautiful green color 
toggle clasp that I'm going to have to check. It's got some decent weight to it. So, yeah, that's cool. Okay. We'll put that in wearable but lot. I do see a little damage right here. We'll put it in wearable but lot and figure out what we want to do. Get a lot of these big guys out of the way. All right. Hmm. Really? There we go. Okay. This one is, this is like 70s. That's what I'm, the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting 1970s from this. These are wood. Um, heavily shellacked. <laughs> and you got a um, spring ring clasp. So, yeah, I'm going to put that in wearable, but lot. I like that. Early 70s. I pulled out a couple earrings. I'm going to throw them over there. Uh, more nose rings? Great. Um, <laughs> yay, nose rings. Just what we wanted. Um, more earrings. Let's see what I can easily extract from this craziness. Okay. This is pretty. Let me pull, I'm going to have to do it sideways, kind of. So you've got all these interlocking circles. They're kind of a antique gold or brass color. And then you've got the bronze faceted beads in there. That's neat. It's pretty. No maker's mark. I'm going to put it in wearable, but lot. It does need some cleaning. Okay. I've got a little bracelet. And I see another one just like it. So I have a feeling that we're going to get several that you can stack together. So I will... Let's see, do I see anything on them? Not really. And this one might be coming apart, so they may have to go to craft. Yeah, so see how the fabric has come off the cord completely. It's come unglued and everything. So these are going to have to go to craft. Maybe someone can use the bar, the clasp, you know, things like that. Okay. Got this little necklace with pink kind of abnormally shaped bead mm, and yeah yeah hold on I don't see anything it might have hooked to something else at some time I, I don't I don't really like this much it doesn't do anything for me so I'm gonna put it in craft it just doesn't feel like it's well made so all right we've seen a bracelet like this haven't we already I think with these same color tones, this one looks nice. It looks like it's in decent shape. So wearable, but light. Okay. Oh, a lot, a lot of copper coming through on these. I don't know if that's intentional. It's beautiful. You've got like a Spanish dancer and a bull and guitar. So it reminds me of flamenco. We um when I was in Spain two summers ago, we got to watch a flamenco dance. Very nice. But like I said, I don't know if that wear is intentional. I don't I just don't know. This chain, the Figaro chain, has no wear on it, but this whole thing does. Or you see copper coming through. So I don't know what to do. Um, and the clasp has a lot of wear. Ah, I'm throwing it in craft. Um, just a little bit confused over there. All right, what have we got going on here? Is 
there anything that'll come out easily? All right, this guy did. I don't know what that is, but it came out. Oh, don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, another one of those bracelets that is supposed to stack together with the others. If I can get it from here. Goodness, what have you done? Hmm. Y'all. Okay, there we go. We're going to put that in craft with the other ones. And this necklace. Oh, that's another bracelet hung in here. Goodness gracious, y'all. I think this is a headband. This is a headband with all the leaves. Oh my gosh, that would have to pull your hair so bad. These leaves are prickly and pointy. That would have to rip your hair out. Um, That's going into craft. And if I can get this undone from it, I will stack this one with the other bracelets. But it's a matter of getting it undone. Oh, shoot. I think I just broke the headband. I did. <laughs> Trying to get this bracelet out, but... Uh... Okay, so, and it's got like a tree of life pendant on it. So that's going into craft. Another oh, earring. Oh, here's the bracelet I saw through the bag. Isn't that pretty? Um, The yellow or the gold is like all seed beads. That's neat. It looks very um, Indian to me, like from India, Indian. That's cool. I'll put it in wearable, but lot. Um, <laughs> okay. I've got so many things going on right here. I feel like I just picked the most tangled thing to deal with. Okay. I see this one's mate. I have I have several pairs of earrings like that. I love these. These are so cool. Um, I'm gonna they've got a lot of wear to them. I really need to check these out better. So I'm gonna put them in wearable but lot. There's there's a chance that they become part of my collection just because of the amount of wear or that they go to craft. This is just a little string with another evil eye. I'm going to lot it with the others. I think I know this one. I think I've sold a bracelet similar to this before. Look at how pretty that is. That's all made with leather. And I can't remember the brand name. Hold on. Um, oh gosh, I can't read it. I think it says Beaker brand. That's not what I was thinking of as far as a brand. But, yeah, that's cool. Again, to me, very, very earthy, very boho. Another one of those bracelets. <laughs> this one has a, is that a 40? That looks like a 40. I wonder if. I don't know what that is. It's going in craft. Okay. A 40 on there? Okay. Um, this weird bracelet. Oh, it's fossil. <laughs> All right. Do y'all see that? It's fossil. So we'll put it in wearable but lot. Um, I think it fell on the other side. Okay. Are you? Oh, it looks like we've got something undone. Wow. Wow, y'all. Right, let's move. You get moved over. You get moved over. Look at that. All these uh, gold tone, or kind of like anti-gold tone, silver tone chains. Um, you've got these two medallions, these two flower kind of sunburst medallions. It actually looks like a symbol from Supernatural. <laughs> Where's my Supernatural fans at? Um, and then, you know, it goes up into a pretty decent size lobster clasp. I don't see any maker's mark on these. 
but I love this. I love it. Um, I wonder if I should Google Lens it. I'm going to put it in yes. I'll hit it with Google Lens and see if something interesting comes back. All right, this is... Something you would find in a tourist shop. Just some little shells on strings. So that's going to craft. All right. I have no idea if this is supposed to be connected. No, it's not. Is that a ring? That's a crazy ring, y'all. Okay, I'm cool with this. I like it. Um, <laughs> It's a ring. That's neat. Don't see anything on it. Wow. Wouldn't be able to like bend your whole pinky. Um, I don't know. I'll put that in wearable but lot. This is pretty. Let's look at this. See this little locket? Let me make sure that it shuts. Looks like the chain got really wrapped up in it. I'm going to be gentle here. So, yeah. Got a little locket. No pictures in it. But it's got a three-dimensional bow with a faux pearl. It looks like it might have some verdigris right here. And I'll try, see if I can clean it off. If it cleans up, I would definitely sell that. But it, it also doesn't feel like it's snapping shut. Oh, there it goes. There it went. And then you've got a nice little chain and a lobster clasp. So, I'm going to put it in the yes and see if I can get it cleaned up. This is just a string <laughs> with a clasp on it. Maybe at some point it had a pendant. I don't know, but it's going into craft. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this bracelet. Let me pull y'all down some. All right, that's pretty. So we've got a little silver, silver tone, maybe silver bracelet with black stones. Yeah, pretty. It's got some wear to it. Um, who knows? Maybe it just needs to be cleaned up. All those hearts remind me of Brighton. But the clasp is a spring ring. It does not look like a Brighton clasp. I am going to put this in yes and further investigate. I feel like I've sold this necklace eight times in my lifetime. All right. It's a doozy. go. So we've got all of these white cabochons and white, almost looking like milk glass dangles. It's, it's, this is not, you know, milk glass. It was meant to look that way. Um, adjustable bib necklace. So it's pretty. I'll probably put it in wearable, but lot. It is pretty. Okay. Is giving me Monet or Napier vibes. All right. I'm trying to get it undone, y'all. I'm struggling. There. Really? Oh my gosh. I don't have time for this. Okay. <laughs> Look at this beautiful spiral rope chain. Um, gold tone. Let's see if we see anything on the tab. I do not. I do not. So, that's gorgeous. I feel like I should find a pendant to go on it. But, it's a great unisex piece. I love that about it. I'm going to put it in wearable but lot. Sure, class. We gotta get you undone. Oh, 
Oh, I just saw a tag on that one. Okay, let's make sure everything's there. I don't think so. I think we're missing a piece. Hold on. I think we're missing a piece right there. And I wondered if I pulled it over here in the earrings, but I don't think I did. So I don't know if it'll be in the bag. Um, are we missing anything else to make this just go straight to craft? I think all of the rhinestones are there, of the ones that are there. Okay. Um, and the reason I'm, like, interested to see if... Hold on. Yeah, to see if we, if we have the other thing. I don't know, did it break, break? Yep. It looks like it was soldered on right here, and the whole soldering broke. This is White House Black Market. So, I do pretty well with their jewelry. Options. Break this one off. And just have it be, like, that. Options. So, I'm going to put it into craft. But that's a good piece. I mean, that's a pretty piece. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Alright, what else have we got going on here? Let me get this undone. Oh, gosh. What is that even connected to anything? It doesn't look like it is. What is going on? All right, let me see. What does this say? Oh, that says White House Black Market. But I swear that clasp is not hooked to anything. So I wonder what is y'all. All right, it's pretty. I don't know what's happening right here. I have no idea. But I've got a lobster claw and that. And then you've got this lobster clasp. I don't think that's supposed to be there. But this is really pretty. I don't think it's missing anything. And this is going to require some more investigating. I don't, so now I don't even know if it's, if it's even White House Black Market. And this lobster claw is actually stuck because of these. Okay, let me see. Oh, if I can force it out. All right. So my thinking is that this is the actual clasp. Oh, we got another one here. We got two. I hate these. I don't know if it hooked to something else or what. I have no idea. Ah, I'm going to put it in the yes and see if Google Lens brings up anything to give me another clue. I feel like Scooby-Doo over here. Let's look for clues, guys. Um, Okay. Another White House Black Market. And it's like a multi strand. So, it might be the death of me. I just dropped something in the floor. I didn't want to do that. Okay. What went in the floor? All right, I see it. Okay. What are you? This looks pretty. Another one of these double things. Can I tell you how much I hate these? All right. So we got a two-strand necklace, gold tone chain, double lobster clasp, which makes me think that it hooked to another necklace. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I, I despise those things. So I put it in um, wearable but lot. But as I said... I really do hate them. Um, this looks like a piece of chain that does not have any kind of anything on it. And it's in pretty bad shape as far as wear. But I went ahead and put it in craft. All right. I want this to get out of there. All right, it's out. Oof. All right. See, look, this is what I'm dealing with today. 
All right, really pretty piece. This does not go. There's no way this goes with this. There's just no way. This is gunmetal. Um, there's no way. It's got to go with that. All right. This is pretty. It is another White House Black Market. So I got somebody's entire stash. And yeah. I. That's so pretty. Man, with some really sparkly earrings, that would be a cool set to wear. I'm going to put it in wearable but lot. Okay. What is going on here? All right. Oh, we got a little broken. We're, we're a little bit broken here, but we're also White House Black Market. And this is cool. So, I'm doing a horrible job of showing it. Um, let's see if we can get it to look like something for y'all. So we've got three strands. This strand is broken. Sugar. That's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. Just have to reconnect it up here. I have that capability. All right. So this one needs to be reconnected. And yeah, that's pretty. I really do like that. I'll put it in wearable but lot and see what shakes out. All right, let's dump some more. I'm liking something I'm seeing. All right, I see a pair of matching earrings, but they are in pretty bad shape. So you see the sequins that are strung around them are coming loose because you just see the open string. So these are going into crafts. Somebody could use those wooden rings or something. This is, feels like rubber. That feels disgusting. Trash. Okay. Um, this must be the match to this. How very nice. Little troll earrings. Oh, I don't know what I want to do with those. They're creeping me out. Okay. Um, earrings. All of these are earrings. Okay. This is a hair bow. Gross. Some, they're making some of these decisions easy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Those are pretty. I like these. This is like a leather strap around the um, hoop. I like those a lot. Okay, I've mean, got a little loose thing right here, easy to maybe take a little lighter too, but I like these. I like these for me. <laughs> Look, I'm keeping everything. No. Um, I'll put this with, you know what, all those other ones. This is what I really wanted to see. Look at this. There's some hoops over there. Oh, that's next. This is next. All right. Look at this chain. You've got this serpentine chain. Good width. And what if we... We've got Italy on this side. Let's see if I can bring y'all in. There's the Italy. Hopefully y'all can see it. And let's look at this side. We do have 925, if I can get it to focus or hit the light just right, is a 925 right there. So, do we have a whole sterling serpentine chain? That would be fabulous. That would be fabulous if we did. So... That'll have set that one to the side for testing. It needs some cleaning, but that is gorgeous and it feels so nice. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. It almost, almost looks like a fleur de in the middle, but it also looks Celtic. I love this. This is a cool ring. Um, I don't see anything marked on the inside of it. 
Uh, probably about a six. Oh, I love that. Love that. It's going in my pile. I'm going to, I'll like take a closer look at it and then try to make a decision on what I want to do with it. Here's another ring. I'm just going to grab it because it's easy to grab. Oh, look at all those flowers. Huh. All right, what do I see in there? I see J. Crew. Huh. Huh. I don't think I've ever gotten a J. Crew ring, and I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys the J. Crew, but it's right there. Interesting. Is it missing? I think it's missing a couple of rhinestones. Those might be easy to replace. It's missing a few. But I love that. I'm putting it in the yes. And it is, like, see, one, two, and three, four. Those are the rhinestones that are missing, but I think these are a decent size that I could find some and get them in there. And it's just gold tone, little fashion ring. Love it. All right, we got a stretch. Feels like the stretch is going to give any minute some plastic beads. Craft. Okay. Um, I was like, didn't I just throw this in craft? Same one. Craft. Okay. We've got another one of those, you know, Alex and Ani style bracelets with some charms on it. Um, I know that people wear those stacked. I have students that do. Um, got some, they jingle. Those, those kids jingle. <laughs> But a lot of kids do wear those stacked. So, all right, what have we got going on here? I'm trying to get it straight and it's being difficult. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see the tag now. It's cute. So, we got a little bib necklace with some acrylic cabs, all in like pinks and magentas on um, almost like a gunmetal, and it is Charming Charlie. There we go. So that will go in wearable, but light. Because it is in wearable condition. Oh, look at this guy. This is old, again, getting some 70s vibes. Um, would love to put that with the other one. Um, actually, what I'm gonna have to do is maybe go on Pinterest and see ways to style wood bead necklaces. Because you, I think you could probably wear too much, you know. So I want to make sure that I do something that would be interesting. I need to see this. I need to see this so bad. All right, we got a bracelet here. Look at this gloriousness. Are you looking? Look up from your work if you're working along. This and do you see the inside also? Do you see this? We have this bracelet. I have never seen anything quite like this. Tell me if you have. That is crazy incredible. Oh my gosh, I feel so fancy. Okay. Again, this reminds me of um, something you would, you know, see in India. Wow. I'm putting that in the yes. That has to be something good. Whew. That was pretty. Okay. Earring. More earrings. I think we've got a match in the earring department. But... We also have a mess. Okay. All right. That earring is going over there. What have we got here? All right. That's another earring. Goodness gracious. All right. Just a simple... Actually, no, it wouldn't. I was going to say, would it look good with that last, like, pink and magenta? But no. I don't think it would because that is gunmetal tone and these are like an antique gold tone. But they're cute. Um, I don't know if this is wear or they need to be cleaned up. So I'm going to put them in wearable but lot. 
And what I do is as I'm like digging through those to see what kind of things I can put together that look good, I, um, what do I do? I, um, decide, you know, with cleaning them, if, if they're good enough. And if I see where that I missed in the, in the unboxing and I need to throw them into craft, I'll throw them into craft. Um, these are earrings. So we've got some lever backs and yeah just some um hammered discs lever back earrings great basic piece all right we've got something that was $19.99 so let's look at $19.99 this is so dainty they're little hamza hands Look at how dainty this necklace is, y'all. Hold on, let me see. I can't get the hands up here just right. Look at that. It is so fine. I, I just can't get over how dainty it is. Um, It is marked 925. So if it tests over, it's, it's you know, gold vermeil. Like I said, it's got this tag on it, and it's got turkey. So I don't know if somebody bought that in turkey. Maybe that's where they got the other stuff, too. Um, I will put this in the yes, and I'll know to test it also. Look at this. Here's a B. Brighton, do you need a bracelet? Um, I don't think this is Brighton style. Anyway, it's a B on this um, gold tone chain. Let's look for any kind of mark. I see Avon. Avon. I'm going to put it in the yes. Maybe there's someone out there whose name starts with B. Who would like that? Oh, look at these stones. We got them on a barrel clasp. Goldstone. All right, let me see if I can show you. Um, I'll do this hand. Look for the gold flecks. Do you see them? That's goldstone. So um, I think you can you can get different colors of goldstone. I think I've gotten green goldstone, but I think the most common times I've seen it is in brown. So that's cool. That's a cool piece. Great layering piece. I'm gonna put it in wearable but live. These are acrylic. This is very vintage. There is something written in here. And I can't tell what it says. Oh. Looking to see if my loop is in here. And I'll see if I can figure out what it says. But they're cute purple beads. Graduated. Um... And yeah, hang tight. Okay. All right, I gotta turn it the right way, but it's being difficult. Goodness. Hmm. Western Germany. So this says Western Germany. I'm going to put that in the yes. All right. Throw one in the yes. All right. Got a... Oh, oh uh, do you know what that is? That's a nose ring. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. We've got a seed bead necklace. Great. Another nose ring. Y'all, I can't. I can't. Great layering piece. A great boho piece. Silver tone. Hardware. So we'll put it in a wearable but lot. Okay. Let's see. We should be able to get a final dump right here. And see what all we're left with. Okay. <laughs> what have we got here? 
All right, so we got a ring, a little fashion ring with a little flower carved in it. That's kind of silly. Um, I, I don't even think that's worth putting in wearable but lot, but I'll put it in there and make some kind of decision later. So this, what does this say? America. That looks like a company. Like some kind of company logo. That's going in craft. All right, we saw these through the bag. I was like, hey, there's some bangles that are connected. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do with this. Because this one doesn't lay right. There it goes. There is some wear to them. There is some wear. Let me pull y'all back just a hair. Um. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of color loss on these. So I'm going to put it in craft. Got a stretch. The stretch actually feels okay on it. Those beads are interesting. Some filigree work beads. These are, these are like velour. How bizarre. And these are like plastic. I'll put it in wearable but lot. That, that pile is huge. Um, okay, got a pair of matched up earrings. These are kind of looking like 925 silver. So um, I'm going to put them over in the pile of stuff that I need to test. I like them. They're, what are they, octagon shape? Not octagon, those are hexagons. Okay. More nose rings, y'all. So many nose rings. Oh, look at this. This looks like a Greek key thing almost. But if you look at it this way, they look like S's. Look at that ring. That's kind of cool. I don't see any marking on it. Oh, it's big. That's a decent size ring, y'all. Okay. Um, I feel like I've piled all the rings up over here. I like... Um, holding the rings off separate and investigating them later. All right, this feels like aluminum. And it says Ohana. That is Hawaiian for uh, something that I don't know. But this feels like not well made, feels aluminum. I am putting it in craft. Okay. That's a neat bracelet. Look at Oh, let me pull this earring off of it. Look at that. Um, and it opens like that. I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it, but I do like it. So we'll put it in wearable but lot. More earrings. Ah, look, there's the piece that went to that White House Black Market. So... You can see where it came off of the back of it. So, sad. I don't know what I, what did I do with that piece? This is one of those rubber things. Hate them. Okay. Lots of hoops. It's the land of hoops. All right, I don't know what this is. What is this? It looks like the Space Needle. What? Um, let me move this stuff so you guys have a clear background. What is that? And it's open right here. What? What is this purpose? I do not know. I don't know your purpose. Set. I set it off to the side here. Okay, we got a little ring. I like wanted to dig this ring out. You see all the little rhinestones on it. I don't know if it's got a lot of wear or if it just needs to be cleaned up, but it is marked in here 925. So we'll put it over here in my test pile. Okay. You know where that's going. Okay. So I don't even have to say anymore. Y'all like, I know where she put in that. Okay. We got some more rings. This is just kind of like uh something. <laughs> can't even think of what to call that but there we go a little ring and then there's this one 
and we'll put that one, we'll stack it right with it. Nope, that looks terrible. Setting all the rings over here to the side. The nose jewelry, trash. Okay, nose jewelry, oh my gosh. Oh, what, what is this? This feels very cheap. Um, what does it say? Handmade, I bet. And <laughs> the handmade thing, the paint or whatever is peeling off. So, craft. Craft. All right. I have all the hoops if you need hoops. Okay. Um, that's an earring also. Earring. Get off of there. All right. We have a uh, not leather cord. I couldn't think of what to call it with a cross on it. Oh, the cross is supposed to be like this. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know about this. I don't know. I'm gonna put that in wearable that lot. I don't know where I wanna put that. I can't make a decision. All right, some of y'all might have to start making decisions for me. All right, trying to get earrings out of the way. Oh, these two are a match, so let's go ahead and look at these. They're pretty. Okay, look at those. Aren't they pretty, these little hoops, or half hoops, and they're kind of hammered a little bit in spots, or flattened in spots. Those are really pretty. They kind of, I mean, with that matte gold, I think of Madewell, but they're a little too flashy for Madewell. But I'm going to put those in wearable, but lot. They're pretty. Okay. Oh, gosh. Something went rolling down at me. All right. We've got, this is a seed bead bracelet. This is a straight ladder stitch. And it's even got a beaded toggle clasp. But those are not easy to make so i'll put it in wearable but lot this is going in the trash it just is too dirty you know the the fabric ones they just get too dirty okay um all right oh gosh at the hoops oh gosh at more nose jewelry like really weird nose jewelry all right so we got a pair of hoops right here. When I see hoops like this, I want to I want to test them. So and check them, you know, pretty closely. All right, we've got All right. We've got a bib necklace and lots of hair. Ick. Ick! Oh, no, 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 no. Um, that's pretty. I, it's this not an expensive piece, you know. This is truly some kind of fashion jewelry, but it's cute. It's going in wearable, but lot. That pile is getting huge. All right, we got a stretch. The stretch does not feel good. It has a cross on it. The cross has something. The cross says 925. So that's going in my test pile. Gosh, these are pretty. Um, oh, that necklace might have earrings that goes with it. Oh, God, more nose jewelry. Y'all, I can't. Okay. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to take a week-long shower after that. Um, we're going to put this little stretchy into craft. Then we've got this bra a bracelet necklace with a barrel clasp. These could be coral. Coral. Let me know if you know what show that's from. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you know coral. Um, they might be. I have to look at them a little closer and some gunmetal. I like that. I'm going to put it in wearable, but lot. Gosh, all that stack is crazy. 
that is going in craft. Um, that is going in craft. Oh, wow. And somebody took some time on that one. It says, um, seven bis. Is that what that says? Is that a seven B I S? I don't know what that is. I, this is, I can't get over how heavy this thing is. That's crazy. Um, that's so interesting. I'm going to put that in my yes box and, and figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Okay. See, what, did I get another one? I thought that I put this over here. How did it get back over there? I don't know what's going on, y'all. Erin, this bracelet, these are plastic, going in craft. Oh, yay. Guess what? More nose jewelry. I don't think this is nose jewelry. This is some kind of weird earring thing. Um, the things, nose jewelry. Okay. That's a neat ring. Ah, it's also giving me supernatural vibes. It needs, I don't know if it's, if it, oh, it's just in really bad shape though. I mean, really bad shape. So but if you look at it, look at all those symbols. And if you're, if you watched or watch Supernatural, that's what that looks like. That's, that's good nostalgia for me. All right. We've got a necklace here. Still got some more stuff to go through, guys. Um, this looks like it's missing a, a cab. Okay. So it's missing a cabochon right here. I don't think we've run across it. Um, and it is Charming Charlie, so that's going into craft. Let's see. Oh, nose ring. This is the nose ring lot. I think that's how Goodwill should have advertised it. All right, I'm making sure that I'm pulling everything earring-wise over. What have we not seen from here? Have we seen this nose ring? Because there's another one. All right. <laughs> okay, so we have, wow. We have a $30 bracelet. Why is this bracelet $30? Because it is Swarovski. Look. We have a $30 Swarovski bracelet. And here is the swan. There's the swan. It's absolutely beautiful. Can you even just appreciate the way those flash? Because that is incredible. Blues, shades of blues and teals. New with tags, Swarovski. Love it. Look at this. This has been eyeballing me and I've been wanting to pick this up. That's beautiful. This swan is gorgeous. I don't know if it's, I guess it's supposed to be blue under there. So I wonder if it's something broke. See, because that doesn't even look normal. So I don't know what that's for, but it's so pretty. Um, I'm going to set it in the I don't know what to do with this pile. All right, earrings. Here's another ring. Got plenty of rings in this one, and I love rings. This one is not marked anything. Doesn't fit my pinky, but it also doesn't fit my ring finger. So I'm going to say around a six. I'm going to put it in my ring pile. This one is probably going to be trashed. So much copper. So much copper coming through. And it's it's like gross on the inside. So, yeah, that one's not in good shape. Okay. Um, we saw this one. Look at that. So the rest is all earrings. So what I'll probably do, yikes, is um, match all of them up, show you which ones I got matches to. I'll probably cut the video here, um, match them up and come back to you guys. So I'll pause, come back and let you know what I found. These are giving Juliana vibes, but because we've got, I'm trying to decide if I see puddling on the back. I kind of do. Kind of do right in here. Um, 
Hmm. I'll have to Google lens these, but I love them. Very, very 1940s. And you've got like Aurora Borealis beads. Oh God, or calves. Those are pretty rhinestones. Those are very pretty. I'll have to Google lens them. All right, so we're going to pause. We'll get some earrings matched up and then I'll come back and show you what I found. Okay, y'all, we are back <laughs> with all the earring matches. So, um, you got these little tiny guys. They are not, they are not sterling, but they're very boho, southwest kind of style. Let me see. I want to make sure. I don't know. I can't see my screen, so hang tight. Um, let me make sure that it's not too blurry. Yeah, so we've got those. Um, these are gorgeous. They're not marked, but they are beautiful. Those are like black and almost like a rose gold almost. Okay, look at these stunners. Aren't these beautiful? All the rhinestones are there. They really just look like something maybe J. Crew would put out. I couldn't find a mark. I will show you the only like potential mark that I may have found is that little dot right there, right underneath the ear wire. And I don't know what that is. So I Google lens them. What came back? Bobble Bar came back with, with a pair similar to this, but it only had two. It didn't have three of these. So I don't know. Don't know what these guys are. All right, and we've got, I'm showing you all the stunner earrings right now we've got these guys that are absolutely beautiful with some faux pearls and some clear rhinestones um not marked again so and these beautiful little studs and these were not marked either so i've got all these unmarked earrings and we saw these earlier and i'm i still haven't google lens them but i feel like these might be something they feel lovely these are beautiful small earrings um, with little probably faux pearls and like that gold tone, not marked. <laughs> this is just the theme for the earrings. And we have some other fashion style earrings. So let's talk about sterling. Um, well, hang on, got those. Like some more earrings. Got those. These are pretty cool. I think I have a pair of clip-ons, vintage clip-ons, just like those. So they're pretty neat. Those beads um, feel like, these things feel like plastic. But they have kind of a moon glow to them, so they're kind of cool. Um, Let's see. I, what was I sad about? We didn't get a match to this earring. However, this would make a super cool pendant, wouldn't it? I wish we had gotten its match. Though that's a cool pair of earrings. Let's see. Um, these are gorgeous. Look at these clip-ons. Hold on, let me turn it that way. With the a baguette right there, and then all of these rhinestones and the faux pearl. I don't think these were marked. I'm trying to remember. I don't think they are, but they are absolutely stunning. Yeah. Oh. Aren't those beautiful? All right. Um, and again, the rest are just very, you know, very, I guess, just costume, very fashion costume jewelry. So, let's see. We had these. I don't know if those were pretty and blue. They need, I think they need a little work to get the beads to hang right, but they're pretty. Um, okay. Let's talk cool stuff. Let's talk cool stuff. All right. Um, I don't even know where to start. Okay. So in this bag is everything that tested for silver. Almost everything. I think I got a ring over here that tested. Um, and now I don't remember which one. This is the story of my life, y'all. <laughs> that's why I try to put like anything that tests for silver or gold I try to put it in a bag so I remember why um all right remember seeing 
this chain that says Italy and 925. It did test for silver. Shined bright, bright, bright. Definitely needs a cleanup. Um, but yes, beautiful serpentine chain. And it tested for silver. So that's great. Um, this little ring tested for silver. It's kind of plain, but it did. It tested. Um, let's see. These little guys, they need a, de a definite cleanup. These, um, I don't even know what you call these earrings, where it's going to go in your ear. Let me see if I'm doing this right. It's going to go in your ear, and it kind of curves around, and that comes underneath your earlobe. Those um, tested sterling. So it's kind of like a post, and you see how it curves and does that little blue flower thing. Those are sterling. It's kind of cool. Um, this ring is sterling. Needs a good cleanup. Whatever these are, these are sterling. Somebody please tell me what they are. Um, I don't, I thought that they were bead, like, end caps for a multi-strand necklace because of this, but there's no... There's no hole up here for the string to come through. So I have no idea what these are. If you know, fill a girl in. I wonder if they went on the end of a bolo tie. Hmm. Brain is working over here. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. But they are sterling. And then this little bracelet, that cross tested for sterling. And let me see. I don't know. I believe these are pearls. Yes. These are dyed pearls. So, isn't that great? That's a nice little pile of sterling that I managed to come out with. And y'all, we struck gold. <laughs> Literally, we struck gold. So, I was, um, was taking pictures and sending stuff to my buddy Brighton. We do... Um, we share a lot of like what we find and things like that. And he saw, oh gosh, he saw these in the picture. And he said, hey, are those citrine? I was like, I don't know. And he said, well, those ear wires look sterling. So I said, well, let me test them. And I tested them for sterling and no. So I said, well, the ear wires are gold. So if they're, if they're 925, then they're vermeil. And he's like, they look like silver in the picture. And I said, no, they're gold. So when I put the 18K on it, right? Because I use 18K and get it to glow blue. It, it ate it up. So I was like, well, let me try 14K. It held. The 14K held. So I grabbed my loop. I looked hard at these ear wires and I found them marked 14 karat. So these are 14 karat gold and those might be citrine. It wouldn't surprise me knowing you've got gold ear wires on them. Um, so we struck gold <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I am a okay with that. So that is everything y'all. That's, that's what we've got. Um, and I need to end this because this is going to be the longest video in history. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy. Actually, let me, um, let me see if I can lift y'all up. So, so that we can see the, the boxes. Um, let me, there we go. And then we need to change the color. I changed the color. Is that better? I think that's better. All right, so we got my keep box. All right, so this, well, my yes box, or I'm going to research some more box. Here's the wearable lot. It is huge. The craft lot isn't terrible. Okay, it's not, it was, this wasn't a ton of craft. So, you know, that's not bad as far as craft goes. So overall, I am happy with this box. I think, you know, there are some, some things that will make some money in here. All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I do two videos a week, one every Wednesday, one every Saturday. And um, I do mystery boxes like this, jewelry, clothes, shoes, plush. I love reselling. Um, and I do what sold videos. So if reselling is your jam, if you like reselling content, 
then this is a great channel, I think, to subscribe to. Or, yes, subscribe to. All right. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.